Seaman? Seaman? Well, you guys should have been here last time. How are you doing? Got a question for you. Who likes marijuana? I'm sorry. Who likes marijuana? Yeah, yeah. Would it surprise you to hear that I only recently tried marijuana for the first time? Nope. Well, well, honestly, I did. For years, nay decades, I was terrified of getting high. Have you ever heard of the poet, uh, philosopher, Afro Man? <laughs> yeah? Have you, have you heard of his consequences tales of getting high? He ruined his fucking life. This is what happened. This is what marijuana did to him. He had he missed class. Okay. He 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 didn't get his room clean. He um he had a promotion, but he blew it. He lost his truck. He was gonna eat a pussy, but ended up jerking off. All because he got high. <laughs> Worst thing is, he became a paraplegic. I don't want that shit happen to me. So, so marijuana terrified me. And about a year ago, uh, I was on vacation down in Pittsburgh visiting my sisters with my wife. And she said, hey, you want to smoke a bowl? I thought about it. I'm like, well, I'm in a safe place. Uh, think about Afro Man, the worst thing that could happen to me is I get high and end up jerking off. Which isn't that fucking bad, am I right? So, so I'm like, yeah, I'll try it. So I smoked the bowl. I smoked my first bowl when I was 49. And the worst thing that could happen to anyone when they try a drug the first time happened to me. I felt nothing. I felt absolutely nothing. I thought, I must be immune. To marijuana. I thought, I must be immune to Mary Jane's uh, charms and fucking Afro Man must be a pussy who couldn't hold his push. <laughs> now the second time almost got me divorced. So not too long ago, I went to a friend's house with another friend and the friend says, hey, you want to try an edible? I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll try one. That shit doesn't bother me. <laughs> He says, oh, you, you've had marijuana before? And I told him about my experience. He says, oh, well, why don't you have two? I said, two? Fuck that. Give me three. <laughs> so he proceeded to give me three medical-grade, high-quality edibles. These came from a dispensary in Syracuse that you need a medical card for. These aren't the ones that you get from a local... You know, sticker shop. No offense. I don't want to get shot. But I, he only took one, this motherfucker. He only popped three. Now, I felt, ten minutes later, I felt like a rocket ship just trying to take off. My mind, my, 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 my thoughts, my, my heart rate, just everything was just elevating, elevating like I was trying to escape the fingers of gravity. And I was having such clear thoughts that are racing through my head but such clear thoughts and and i remember telling my friends about the historical and cultural significances of the show impractical jokers <laughs> are you guys aware of it oh, yeah. i said impractical jokers was the key to saving our society just like bill and ted's music saved society in the movies that was movie i'm talking about real life shit here I said, think about it. Every time you have a conflict, you disagree with someone. Instead of holding resentment, instead of fighting with them, instead of wishing them ill will, you compete to embarrass each other in public challenges. Everyone's going to laugh. Be silly. Have a good time. Forget what they're mad about. And probably make a few lifelong friends. Probably more than four friends. And I knew they weren't getting it because I had to tell them I had to repeat this over and over and over, and they weren't getting it. Um, at some point, uh, you know, I knew my mind was just racing. I thought, okay, I got to go home. I'm okay to drive because I wasn't sleepy. I was just alterly aware of everything around me. Like nothing, I just felt like everything was swirling through me. So I got behind the wheel. I just had to focus. I'm just grabbing my wheel. I'm telling myself, you're driving, you're driving, focus. 
you're driving, there's a stop sign. People don't stop at stop signs anymore. They just kind of roll on through the stop sign. When are they make stop signs red? Why are they only eight-sided? Maybe they need to update the stop signs. Maybe they should have them blank. Maybe you make, they should make them 69 sides. Oh shit, I just drove through five stop signs. I'm driving, I'm driving. I made it home safely, knock on wood. What? That's what? You guys do that too, right? Knock on wood? I'm not the only one, am I? Well, that's going to become a thing now. Knock on wood, okay? Trust me, it'll become a thing. So I made it home safely. I find my wife in bed relaxing, watching TV. I jump in bed. I immediately tell her, in practical jokers, this is why it's going to save society. She was again in that room. I told her again, she was getting it. So then I said, okay, I'm hungry. I went and got a big bag of popcorn, actually a big bowl of popcorn. I brought it back to bed. I just started fisting myself popcorn. I didn't offer her any popcorn. I'm just eating it, it's spilling all over. I then take the bowl, perfectly good bowl, throw it away, turn it away, and practically jokers. Let me tell you why it's gonna save society. She looked at me and said to me, in a way only a loving wife can tell her husband, she says, there's something wrong with you. I don't know what it is, but I want to punch you in the face right now. So I told her, I said, well, I had three edibles, remember, I'm immune, but I'm just operating on a higher intelligent level plane, and I felt sorry for her, because she wasn't operating on the same level that I was, and maybe that's why she was just too stupid to understand <laughs> practical jokers. So I was relegated to the couch, and then the night after that, I had to move out for about a week. But we're back together. But that night on the couch, my mind kept racing, and I said, okay, let me focus this to fix society's issues. So I started thinking, what are some problems in the area? I'm on the local Facebook group, Facebook groups. A problem we see every day, porch pirates. We see videos every day of someone coming up on someone's porch to steal a package, right? Yeah. Everyone knows about video cameras. Everyone has a ring cam. No one gives a shit. No one cares about the homeowners. They don't care about the police. How do we deal with porch pirates? I'll tell you how we deal with them. We call the United States fucking Navy. That's how we deal with it. We have them send us their best sailors and their dress blues, their duck caps. We tell them to smurge themselves in their bushes. And when the porch pirates are coming up to our porch and ready to board our porches, they'll rise out of the bushes. A bunch of seamen will attack them and sink them. Problem solved. Another problem. Guns in Elmira. Every day on Facebook. Oh, I heard shooting on Lake Street. Oh, I heard shooting on the South Side. What do we do about that? I'll tell you what we do about it. Let's legalize fireworks. People won't be able to tell the difference. Was that a, was that a nine millimeter or someone celebrating with an M80? They'll go on Facebook and say, oh, did someone hear uh, gunshots by McDonald's on South Side last night? It'll be, nope. Local Jewish family celebrating first night of Hanukkah. Sh Shalom, motherfucker. Problem solved. One more problem for you. This one's a tough one. Gun violence, school shootings. Children, unfortunately, present as soft, easy, slow targets in schools. That's why they're a destination for... That's, I'm sorry to say, that's why they're a destination for angry incels whenever they want to cause chaos. How do we solve that problem? Here's how you begin to solve that problem. Quit yelling at the kids when they're running in the fucking hallway. We want them to learn how to run in the hallway. In fact, we should tell them, run as fast as you can from class to class. <laughs> you know what? First, there are going to be collisions. There's going to be some bloody noses. But eventually, those little fuckers are just going to be blurs. <laughs> thus eliminating all easy, soft targets. Thus eliminating schools as a destination for a psycho with a gun. They can go shoot up 
synagogues and rock concerts like a normal psycho. That's my time. Thank you so much. Thank you. And trust me, knock on wood, you're going to see it on TikTok. <laughs> you might want to clean it. <laughs> it smells like balls. <laughs> Thank you. All right.